We're going to go over it yesterday. Set up I showed you. Working great again this morning. Go over that real quick. Had a thousand dollar trade over a thousand dollar trade with a hundred twenty dollar stop yesterday at ten thirty two. I'm going to show you how to do that. We want to do that in all markets. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, at crude oil this morning. Nice move. We had a nice move down here so far this morning. Remember, the easy way to do this is this. We look at our trend chart first. Here's our trend chart. Our trend chart, what we want is we want to see price, the open versus close, the body of the candle. That's the most important part of the candle. The body of the candle, I have a trend filter built into this Rinko bar. Okay, Rinko bars to me are worthless. So as minute bars, share charts, tick charts, range bars, they're worthless by nature. But if you add a trend filter in these guys, work really, really well. Now, what we want to do is, I got three MAs on there. We don't use moving averages for support or resistance or crossover trades, but we use it for trend direction. I like to see the open versus close or the body of the candle, meaning the open, the, the box of the candle, the, the big green box and the big uh, red box, not the wicks, not the, not the highs and the lows, not the wicks. I want to see the body of the candle close 90% below my smaller MA. And so you really want to see it. This has really got it going here this morning. Sorry. That started it right there. You can see that we're below all three MAs. Now the weakest part of the market will be when you see space between my open versus close or the body of the candle on my smaller MA. We're in a hard downtrend right now. You can see it. But a really good way to trade, I showed you this technique yesterday, and I'll show you today. Again, we had over a $1,000 trade yesterday after I went over this with a $120 risk. We know we can use the symmetry dots for breakdowns and breakouts with the overall 9 sim trend. Went over several videos how to do that. You see that symmetry dots tested several times. But here's your entry over here. There's your entry short. On the last arrow, there's your entry short on the last arrow right there. But I'm going to show you another uh, entry you could take. What we do is I have a pause in the market right here, a pause in the market. It's a solid uh, uh, vertical line. That's a pause in the market where the sellers equal the buyers. And I have that where it comes up just like a vertical line for you. There's no green box or red box, meaning open versus close. They are equal, so sellers equal the buyers. If within two bars, if that comes with the 9 sim trend, if we get a red open versus close, meaning a red box, that is a short right there. And I went over this yesterday how we can do this. So that is a pause in the market with the overall trend of the 9 sim. You're going to see a lot of trades like this. So in other words, this arrow fired off, off here already we knew that the nine sims in a downtrend our three sim crossed over there's your retest there's your retest the arrow fired right there live for you at the close of that bar you can go short with negative delta confirmation which we got we had negative delta at that time so that's your short entry but the additional short entry you could have shorted even a little higher right here because it paused in the market with the 9 sim trend and there is another entry. So you have two back-to-back -back entries. It's two for two this morning according to my methodology since 7.30 this morning. And that's a nice little trade. 20 down to 30, 90. That's a $300 trade. Your stop loss is two ticks above that swing high. It's about a $120 stop if you go two ticks with the live fill. Now, the same technique I showed you how to do yes, uh, or today, uh, yesterday, I want to show you, oops, this cell down here. The same technique would be right here. It caught the low, our arrow caught the low after news right there 
But let's say the arrow didn't fire off, okay? And the nine sim trend was up. Let's say the arrow doesn't fire off, which it did. These two bars, if you get a green close on my Renko bar, because I have a trend filter built in, if I get a green close on the Renko bar after a pause in the market with a nine sim trend, then this will be an entry right here. You're going to see this all the time in all these markets on a daily basis. So that would be an entry. I only let it go two bars after the pause, after the sellers equal the buyers. Only two bars. In other words, it's got to close a green candle at the first bar or the second bar, or I forget about the trade. So you can see up here you had a pause. There's more than two bars. There's one, two, and then it went on the third. One, two, on the third. The reason I like the pause, I like to get an open versus close higher right after the sellers equal the buyers on that vertical line with the nine sim trend. It's usually a blow-off rally, and they are fast. Usually get around a 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 tick trade, and you're talking about about $120 loss that you're risking. That's about an average of 12 tick stop. Sometimes it's 8 to 12 if the candle's really small, but 8 to 12 is going to be your stop depending on your life fill, and it is a beauty of a trade on a pause in the market. So I really like doing that trade. Here did it again today, this morning, that I showed you how to do it yesterday. The nine sims in a downtrend. There's my vertical bar. There's my open versus close. It's negative. So this is a valid short right there. So this error automatically fired off too. So nice little trade on both arrows, the technique I showed you yesterday and the arrow that fired off this morning. Okay. Now I use this off the three cent. Hey, arrow. I use it off the three cent, Rinko, using that technique because it's a very small stop. S&P had some big trades yesterday. NASDAQ futures had some big trades off that technique yesterday with the nine sim trend. But make sure it's with the nine sim trend. You'll want to do it with the nine sim trim because it's a pause in the market for a continuation. In other words, you're popping in the trade. You're popping in the trade on a really shallow retracement. But it's it shows you where they're trying to mark the market up or mark the market down. It's a very powerful technique. Very, very powerful. It can be very, very, very powerful to your arsenal on your setups if you just follow the nine cent trend, let the market pause. Wait for the open versus close within one or two bars after the pause and um, just go back and back test it. Go back months and months and months and look how accurate it is with the 9 cent trend. It is beautiful. So I just want to let you know that's a technique I like to use. It will help you guys and gals out. If an arrow doesn't fire, you can still get into the setup even without the arrow because it's a pause in the market. You just got to go within two bars. Okay?